Hey, what's up everybody? As you can see, we have the pieces for heart surgery. We're putting in a new motor in the Mini. So stay tuned and check it out. Okay, so talking about upgrades from the last system, this time we're going with an i9 uh, processor. New motherboard. Obviously everything's new, so I don't have to say new. Cooler case. Um, RGB RAM, and this is faster RAM. So we've got that. Uh, GeForce Founders Edition 2080 GPU. Uh, we went with a USB Wi-Fi adapter this time. This came highly recommended. Uh, didn't go with the M.2 memory, but we did go with 3D solid state, um, a terabyte. So I think that'll be fine. Uh, cooler Master, this is just a um, cooler there. Fans, power source, keyboard. Windows 10. So there you Okay, and I guess just like that, um, we start her up and we get her going, and she is looking pretty good. So testing her out up here uh, before we take her down and plug her into the car. I'm just using my other monitor uh, for now. There are certain things I'm not going to be able to check here. So uh, lights are cool. RAM, actually, the RGBs weren't working at first, but other than that, pretty much everything worked for a first build. Felt pretty good about it. Um, I had to install the SIM equipment on the car also before I put the computer down there. That way I could run cables and make sure everything was there. So the equipment is installed. Okay, so got this platform here to put the computer on. Computer's all built. Just put it there, I guess. See how that goes. Okay, so the computer is going to be basically there, and I'll start putting in the bits. Okay, so we are on to this. Now what we have to do is plug in all the wires on the back of the receiver, and then I'm just going to push it back. I was thinking about stacking this, um, but I had to pull... I had to pull that out so that we could do this. So we're going to plug everything in, slide it back, maybe turn it, and go from there. But I got to get in. I have got to get in. Well, maybe I'll just turn it. I think I can just turn it right here. The beauty of working uh, this way, huh? I'll just turn it here. I'm turn it that way, that way, so I can work over here, because all the wires come out over here. 
Okay, so what we have now is we're going to organize everything because there are too many wires running through here. I've got to pull the speaker wires, uh, the console wires, and all that kind of stuff. Anything going to the PC, that way we can have a little bit of order here. And I'd, eventually I'd like to get some... Um, some wraps on them and bundle them, but for right now, I'm just gonna separate them. Okay, so I've pulled all of the speaker wires are going here. Uh, anything coming out from there, power-wise, that's like the subwoofer, mouse, any of that stuff, I just pulled over here for now. These are monitor wires and power for the webcam. And then these over here are wires for the SIM. So a lot of stuff, it looks kind of overwhelming. It's not too bad. We're gonna wire this and then go from there. Here. I guess we gotta pull these over now that we have them up front. Okay, this looks a lot worse than it is, mostly because these are home theater uh, wires and they're made for um, going through big rooms and stuff. So let's just go through this one at a time. Figure them out. I know that this one goes here. So those are all pinned in. And I'm gonna just move this uh, over here. So I think what we're gonna do is just move it over to there. So with that there, we'll have room to put the computer and stuff in front still. Okay, so we've got this in. I'm just gonna put the Harman Kardon behind it for now. This is gonna be a little bit forward, uh, so you will end up seeing it kind of like right here. I wanted it to be a little further back, but I think it's gonna be okay. Okay, so with that disaster all together. Yep, not a lot hidden <laughs> with this setting. Uh, but let's turn that on. I do need to tuck some other stuff still too. And then turn this on. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> And there you have it. That's kind of the first look at the car together. Um, it's obviously going to need some fine tuning still. And I'll do a review video kind of talking about more of what's working and what's not. And give you tips for the future. Uh, uh.